Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be talking about how to become a millionaire with just $5 a day. So, how much is that over time? At, that's $5 a day and that's $150 per month. That would be if there was 30 days in that month. If there was 31 days in that month, then it would be $155 and that is $1,825 per year. So, what if I were to take this money, put it in the bank at 100 years? That would only be $182,500 at $5 a day. So clearly, that's not millionaire status right there if I were to just keep that in the bank. And that was if I saved that for 100 years since the day I was born, $5 a day in the bank. And really, at 100 years, that wouldn't even be $182,500 because then you have inflation, which is right now at about a 1.3% average rate of inflation. So clearly... You know, putting it in the bank is definitely not the way to go to become a millionaire with $5 a day. And, oh, well, let's put it in a savings account, right? Well, savings accounts, at least at my bank, Chase, and many others, Bank of America, I'm sure is very much the same. Uh, pretty much any major bank you find out there, it's only a 0.01% interest for a savings account at most banks. So that's like a penny a month, if you're lucky. Uh, yeah, it's hardly anything. So that's definitely not the way to get to a millionaire either. So what is this calculation? Uh, how, how am I getting this? A millionaire with just $5 a day. So let's break it down. The current principal, that means the starting amount that you're starting with. Let's say you're starting with $0, okay? You have nothing. You're starting with zero and you're going to be investing $5 a day. So the annual addition, like I said before, that would be $1,825 a year, Okay. You do this for 40 years, so you leave 40 years of growth um, for this. Now, I'll explain in a little bit how you can you know, shrink that time, but this is, if you were to do just $5 a day, 40 years, and an 11% interest rate, which I'll also get into, so 11% interest rate is obviously compounded once a year. That would be $1.1 million, almost $1.2 million over 40 years if you did $5 a day at an 11% interest rate. So how exactly did I get this 11% interest rate? That's probably the thing you're probably having the most question about. Also the years, but interest rate is even more important. So how do you get an 11% interest rate per year? Uh, blue chip stocks. That is definitely the best way. Uh, very secure companies that you can trust uh, that have a great track record that have been doing this for years. You know, they've been slowly growing for years upon years. They pay dividends, um, you know, very strong, secure companies. So what are some examples of some blue chip stocks that you would be investing in? Well, Johnson & Johnson, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, companies that have been around for at least 50 years. You know, they've been around for so long. Great track record, really great balance sheet very strong blue chip companies and those will give you n probably even better than an 11 percent industry but that is on average uh based on you know economic uh, ebbs and flows you know sometimes the market's going up in general sometimes it's going down a little bit so on average, you can expect at least an 11% interest rate, including your dividends, dividends as well, that you would receive from these companies such as Johnson Johnson, McDonald's, or Coca-Cola. So you're going to want to invest in blue chip stocks. That's how you get that 11% or higher uh, interest rate per year. And so, yay, now you're a millionaire at $5 a day in 40 years. whoop de doo Awesome. Now, the biggest question everyone is having is, well, that's too slow. I'm already 40 years old. I'm going to die by the time I get that amount of money. So, you know, I guess most people watching this video is probably around the 20 to 30 range. So what if that's too slow for you? You know, what if waiting 40 years, so say you're about, you know, 20 years old, you know, you wait 40 years, now you're in your 60s. So that's about time for retirement. So that'd be great. You know, if you're looking to retire uh, around that year, but you know, what if you want to retire a little earlier than that? Uh, with exponential growth, obviously it's going to come slowly in the beginning, as you can see in this chart here, the gains increase rapidly over time. So how do you want to increase that rapid growth over time faster? Is this too slow for you? Well, then throw more money at it. Throw more than $5 a day. And you're going to significantly increase that graph. It's going to speed up faster if you throw more money at this per day, per month, per year. I generally probably look at it at a per month or per year basis. It's kind of hard to look at things at a per day basis because that's a lot of like you know, positives, negatives, but the, you know, at least per month, per year, put in more money. It's going to speed up. You're going to be able to get this 
in a much faster time than just a millionaire at five dollars a day in 40 years but you know that's how you do it a millionaire at five dollars a day 40 years as you saw in the calculation before you know one point almost 1.2 million dollars in 40 years at just five dollars a day with an 11 percent interest rate so like i said if it's too slow throw more money at it you know find other ways to increase your income this is going to get your gears grinding to try and throw more money into that investment pot because that is how you're going to become a millionaire even quicker is if you can throw more money into your investments you know increase your income that's going to speed it up the fastest uh but you know that's how you become a millionaire is definitely the slow growth the exponential growth over time with compounding interest. If you want to play around with the calculator that I used, uh, just search a compound interest calculator on Google and you should be able to find one. But that's kind of how I played around with that, figured out how you could do this with just $5 a day over the course of 40 years, which is not too crazy. You know, that's a normal retirement and you're able to retire, retire with a million dollars, over a million dollars. And if you want to do that quicker, add more money. So, how do you actually invest this money? That's probably the biggest question you guys have next. I use Robinhood, which is a free stock trading app and no commissions on trades. That means with, you know, you know, you're buying your Coca-Cola shares, you don't have to pay a $10 fee when you want to buy your shares. So that saves you a lot of money over time. Uh, and Robinhood is a great free app. It's backed by the FDIC, so it's very secure. Um, that's what I personally use for all my stock investing. And I actually have a, a link below if you want to get signed up with Robin Hood, I think you get a $5 free stock with that. Um, but yeah, Robin Hood, e no brainer. I mean, if you're using e if you use E-Trade, you're going to have to pay a $10 fee or 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 you know, any other stock trading uh, app or uh, brokerage, you're going to have to pay a fee. So Robin Hood's free. That's why I use it. Anyway, guys, if you found this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe. I have a bunch of other investing type videos on this channel, general entrepreneurship. Uh, you know, e-commerce type stuff. I have all that on this channel. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.